The fossil stickleback come from a, a few quarries in Nevada. The, the rock in the deposit is called diatomaceous earth. It consists largely of the skeletons of single cell plants called diatoms. Um, it was laid down in a relatively large deep lake and the bottom of the lake had depressed oxygen concentrations which prevented worms and insects and other animals from churning up the bottom and disturbing the layers. And so, in fact, we can look at the rock and see annual layers in it. For a paleontologist interested in looking at evolutionary process, this provides an opportunity to turn stratigraphic distances, distance in the rock, into years and do things like estimate rates of evolution. Um, another thing we can do is we can tell when a number of fish on a rock died during the same year. And um, this allows us to uh, produce samples of individuals that, that basically died at the same time. Well, one thing is when you hold the knife, hold it up high enough so your hand isn't down below the bottom of the handle. Because if it is, when the, if the knife suddenly goes in, it's going to pinch your hand. Okay, so keep your hand up fairly high. And you want the knife in parallel to the crack. If there's no crack, parallel to the bedding plane. Okay, and there's nothing there. Sometimes happens. And now there's no crack already started, so what I do is I take the middle of the rock. I could hear it. Yeah, you can hear it kind of going. Mm. Yeah. And where's my? It's really easy to lose a putty knife. I mean, we've actually lost picks, and then come back ten years later and <laughs> dug up a pick. And now this crack is kind of opened up. So what I want to do is put another putty knife in at the end of the crack. And you want to minimize the number of times you do this, because every time you stick a knife into the rock, you take the chance that you're going to run it through a fish. and it's starting to open up around there. And this is loose now. Once you put another one in, it loosens up the first. So it's not gonna really open on that level that I started. But, you know, there we are and no fish. And now, now that I've got it in there, you don't pry it get it to open, you twist it. You yeah. twisting and it opens up and no fish. <laughs> My first cut, if I can, parallel with the fish and I know what's going to happen is it's going to shatter. Just because it's too many people watching. <laughs> you want to spray it very lightly. You know, not enough to make make it wet, just enough to make it damp for a moment and then, and then it dries immediately. In a, few, in a few minutes, we're going to go across, and you've probably seen the tent over there, and tables, and rocks on the tables, and tools, and um, you're going to get to split rock. And notice that I said you're going to get to split rock, because sometimes there's nothing there. Um, <laughs> some of you will probably find fossil fish, and it's, it's, like, it's like a treasure hunt. Some of you will find them, and some of you won't. And I'll circulate around, and, and if you have any questions, you can, can ask them then, and if someone finds a fossil fish, we can put it under scope and point out some of the morphology and put it up on the video, uh, on the monitor, and, and you can get a look at, at what's there, if there is anything there.
Okay. <laughs> Very nice. Hold it, hold it steady. Yay, Rebecca. How can we all split and fish in half? <laughs> because that's the whole point. It's more likely. Ta da! Do you want this one? Team that uncovered Jorge? Well, yes, it was us. All right. <laughs> if we had enough, we'd share it with everyone. <laughs> it's Jorge's first 15 minutes of fame. You guys are really getting fish. So. Yeah, this is the dorsal. Right, so it's bent, but that's the back. That's yep. a nice fit. Yeah, it's a good size one. That's a and the other thing you can see is some sort of discoloration here. That's that's soft tissue. So it's this side up. Oh, you want is that good? Yeah. Okay. seems to sort of darken it too, which is good. <laughs> and there's a lower jaw and the upper jaw, but what happened, uh, there's a gill cover right there. Me I lost the blade, right? Now I gotta put my glasses on. This is the curse of old age and getting whatever size. I don't know what it is. I hope you freed up a little bit on that. Yeah. 